Hello and welcome to the Uni Factory here in Denmark. Today I'm going to show you how to work with the Autotemp 32 controller, which you can find on the Easy Multi and Opti range of kettles. To switch the unit on, you press the button here in the left bottom. Then all the LEDs go on to indicate that the unit is working. To switch the unit off, you press the button to the right. And of course, also here we have the standby button. Here in the left top, you can see the temperature setting. This is the jacket temperature. To change the temperature, you push the button and then whilst the setting is blinking, you can change with the big arrows per 10 degrees or with the small arrows per single degree, single digit. To activate the heating, you push the button here in the right top and then the green LED will go on to indicate that the heating is started. The second line here is the water filling. The left button, you can add water. In this case, it is a timer function, so it will indicate how much time the water was being added. Optionally, you can have a water meter where you can have an indication on how much water was being added. The right button, the colander, there you can set the amount of time that you want to have water added. In this case, four minutes, for instance, or four minutes, 59. And then you push the button and water will be added during the time that you have set. Optionally for the easy units, you can have a water meter. So there you can set the exact amount of water per one tenth of a liter that you want to have added. So you can say, for instance, say 105.3 liters, then you can program it and it will be poured into your bowl. This is optional for the easy range and stand up for the multi and opti range. The third line is the timer function where you can set the cooking time. Let's say one hour and 50 minutes then it automatically activates and the setting, the heating will shut off after the one hour and 50 minutes. The second button that you have here is there you can set an end time. So you can say, I want to stop the cooking cycle at 10.55 for instance, and then it will automatically stop and indicate after it has reached 10.55, it will stop the heating. This unit also comes with the tilting functions, electrical tilting, of course, so you push the button and then the unit will tilt, empty out over 90 degrees, so you can fully empty the unit. Now, in this case, you see I get an error message here because when the unit tilts, you cannot have the heating on and it automatically shuts off the heating. This is all you need to know about the controller. In case you have any further questions, please check the manual first and see what is described in there. If you have any questions afterwards, feel free to contact your local dealer or contact us.